really psyched to be back in the studio again, you know. The whole experience of making Deja Voodoo was so positive and fun that we're all just kind of looking forward to making another record. Um, the band's just growing and growing all the time, getting closer and getting better. And I'm really happy with the way the chemistry is flowing right now. And got a lot of new songs. We're just start recording and as many as we can get done in this little window that we're doing now and then take a break and then come back and probably to a different studio and maybe with a different co-producer at some point and, and uh, do another batch of songs, you know. Uh, but recording with Gordy is going great, you know, really fun. Well, Gordy Johnson and I go way back. He, uh, his band Big Sugar has a history with uh, Government Mule. We've all been friends since 95. We became uh, aware that we were kind of kindred spirits when they heard our first record and we heard their EP, 500 Pounds. Uh, we realized that musically we had a lot in common and that probably personally as well. So we all uh, hit it off when we first met. Uh, Woody was a big fan of Big Sugar and uh, he and Gordy got along famously, as, as all of us with all of them really. but. Big Sugar is no longer. Uh, Gordy disbanded Big Sugar a couple years ago and moved to Austin and decided that he wanted to make a go of it down here. Uh, so he has a new band called Grady with uh, uh, Chris Layton from Double Trouble, Steve Ray Vaughan's drum. And uh, we've been talking about doing something together since before Woody died. We actually did uh, 30 Days in the Hole together for the Hippolation 2 when uh, Mule was on tour and I think Mark Ford was the opening act. We took Mark with us into Canada, went up to Toronto where Gordy was living at the time and recorded 30 Days in the Hole and we really had a fun experience, loved the way it turned out. It was real quick and low pressure but we've always kind of been looking forward to the time uh, we've always been kind of looking forward to the time that we would work with Gordy in the studio. You know, we have such a history with Michael Barbiero. Michael's kind of part of our family, but Michael's been telling us for the past two or three records, hey, you know, you don't want to stick with one producer, and when the time comes, you want to use somebody else. He's like, believe me, uh, you more than have my blessing. And so, you know, we've, we've had that understanding for a long time. We probably would have used someone other than Michael on the next record after Life Before Insanity had Woody not passed away. Um, but Michael Kick became kind of the glue that kept the whole deep end thing together. Even though he was one of the producers on that record, uh, he, he was the one that we worked with the most. Um, and then we decided for the, the next studio record uh, as a band, which turned out to be Deja Voodoo, that we would probably do that with someone other than Michael. but. We went in the studio and did uh, Simple Man for the Skinner Tribute record, and it was the first song that we recorded with Danny and Andy, which also included Audley Free. And it was such a good experience, and it turned out so good that we thought, well, this band, as it exists now, hasn't recorded with Michael, so maybe we should make a record with Michael and then move on, which is what we're doing. Um, and so I called Gordy, you know, a few months back and started planting the seed about making a record. And since he lives in Austin now, I said, uh, you know, where are you really comfortable recording? We talked about possibly him coming to the New York area. Um, but we kind of wanted a change of scenery. And he's very comfortable with the studio here, Pernalis, which is uh, Willie's studio. And so we just started exploring the whole possibility of bringing everybody down here and recording it. It's, uh, it's turning out great.